This is like a really weird angle. Just sitting in my car. I just parked at Streck Salon in Beverly Hills. One of my favorite sunscreen brands. This will all make sense in a second. One of my favorite sunscreen brands, Sunbum, just came out with a hairline, which is super exciting. I know nothing about their hairline at all. I do love their sunscreen um, because they're like chemical free, um, they're safe for the oceans and all that. And I just feel safe wearing it. But anyways, this isn't about sunscreen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so carried away. Um, and this is about their new hair care line, so I'm super excited. I got invited to come to Strike Salon because one of the ambassadors for Sunbum's hairline works at Strike Salon. She's a celebrity hairstylist, and basically, we're gonna wash my hair, do I think a treatment, or at the very least, just use the new hairline, and yeah, and do a blowout, which I really need. My hair is so dirty right now. I was wearing a hat all day, but I took it off obviously because I'm not gonna want to put a hat on after I get a fresh blowout. Today is August. 28th, I believe, but this is gonna be on the start of new vlog. So welcome to September's vlog. Um, I didn't vlog in August. I didn't vlog like once we got home from Sardinia. Um, I've just been really sick. I got like the summer flu and dealing with headaches and all this other stuff that I'll get into at a later point. Um, I'm totally better, but this will be the start of our September vlog, even though it's technically August. So let's go do this together. <laughs> Finishing up the blow dry. If you guys can hear me. <laughs> How cute is Ashley? Hi. I love that we are in the same color palette. Oh yeah, we are. Neutrals all the it's way. I can't wait to show you guys the salon. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Here's a sneak peek. All right, we just finished the blow dry. How amazing does my hair look? I keep messing up my bangs, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so pretty. And then I'm gonna show you guys the salon and the products, hold on. How beautiful. They have like an eyebrow station, a makeup station, and obviously the hair, but it's like the prettiest salon ever. It's a vibe. Okay, and then now for the products. Let me show you guys. They look so cute. She art directed this and put everything out. So we used the detox shampoo on me. Um, and you said this is great to use. I'm gonna put you on camera, hi. Yeah. <laughs> this is great to use like once a week, right? Mm -hmm. For anything to take out any hair product or chlorine or any environmental just like gunk in your hair. Yeah. Once a week. Yeah, and you guys know I basically wash my hair only once a week, yeah. so. We used that, and then we used, um, what was the other thing you used on me? We used okay. this for your ends before okay. we blow dry. The three-in-one repair. repair spray, okay. just gives it like a nice little like moisture surge. Okay. And then this at the end. Oh yeah, and she gave me a bottle of this and to take home. And at your roots for like a little lift. Yes. <laughs> So we, we went, <laughs> we love some lift. We went in hard today, so I'm super <laughs> excited. I'm taking this one home with me, so I'll give you guys like a report on that when I start using it. But, oh, okay. But um, <laughs> she, what she did is she like sprayed it in her hands and then rubbed it into your hair. So no direct spraying onto the hair. So basically spray the product in your hand, rub your hands together, put in the ends, Put it, the, well the root spray she did spray directly. But. Okay, I almost have my hair. But now I need to check out and get on with my day. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I was about to say good morning, but it's good afternoon. Um, it is late afternoon. It is about 3.30 Monday. I don't know the date. September 16th. Woo. It has been like two and a half-ish weeks since the last part that I vlogged, which would have been the hair appointment that I had. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on the past two and a half weeks. Sadly, I shouldn't say sadly, but unfortunately, not necessarily the best stuff. Um, so it's been a rough two and a half weeks. I haven't vlogged. Um, hold on a second. I'm gonna pick this up Ooh, when I get to the next red light. <laughs> We're at a different red light. Lighting's changed a little bit. 
but anyways yeah it's been a really rough two and a half weeks I actually completely took a break off social media in general not just vlogging but like Instagram didn't post in story um, but I'm not gonna get into that in this vlog um, I will do a whole separate vlog on that but today is a good day I'm finally starting to slowly feel like myself again and um, right now I am going to a Kelly Baker brows event I believe she's launching a new product um, we're gonna have brow appointments see the new product if I'm not mistaken and it's gonna be a lot of fun so I have a full face makeup on but I do not have my eyebrows filled in I have no eyebrow gel on nothing I don't even think I brushed them out um, so it's a little tragic um, but yeah so I like just turned green again and I'm gonna sign off because this is very dangerous and I will see you at the event. Her eyes girl, they're gonna pop even more. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. Three musicians always when I watch over Jason Ryan's amazing cleaner. If you're used to threading, waxing is gonna be a walk in the park girl. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're gonna start waxing. Okay. So basically it's like a little band-aid. That's all you're gonna feel. Yeah, it's not that hot. It's very easy. You see? Yeah, not, not bad, bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it felt really weird getting ready and doing like my makeup and not doing my brows. You're like, something's missing. Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, it just like, burned my hair. And he would never believe me when I would tell him like, this is how I'm doing this. Like, it was like a mean girl's movie. Like, I literally saw one girl one day where I had a thought and she, I knew that they had something that I didn't You don't need too much brown makeup either, girl. And Your brows are really nice and smooth. The good side of being a hairy Middle Eastern girl. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you, mom. Thank you, yeah. dad. <laughs> one of the few perks <laughs> of having that much hair. I did not expect that. It's so hair. funny because, like, you know, sure. us women, we all want what we can't have, right? Yeah. We have too much hair. Why don't we have hair all over? And then yeah. we don't have hair. Be like, well, I would love to have some hair on my eyebrows. Yeah. Or whatever, you know? No, hundred mm percent. -hmm. But it's funny because, like, uh, I grew up like in high school. It was really cool to have like a skinny brow. And yes. Yeah. So I used to like. When I got my eyebrows done, I would threat like I would have them thread the shit out of it, and I would come home, and my mom and my grandma would like yell at me. And for the most part, it's grown back. I have like a bald spot right there from like when I was to be thinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's like uh, now I'm like, why are moms always right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like to see into the future now. Totally. <laughs> All right, guys. Did you hear that in the background? They use this little thing right here. Look at that. It's all <laughs> um, But yeah, Kelly Baker does yeah, the Kardashian you? eyebrows. So, that's what they're talking about and they use their products. Anyways. Okay, I just want to show you these brows. This is very awkward because the camera's taking up my whole face. But, I'll try it this way. And then, oh, they look so good. And they're barely filled in. That's what's so crazy. So, um, I don't know, I'm obsessed. Anyways, I'm gonna show you. Kim did my brows here. And if you're in the LA area, that's her info. Actually, I should probably take one for myself. But, yeah, I'm obsessed. And I didn't have a chance to show you guys the studio, so we're gonna do that right now because everything let me show you a sneak peek oh and there's Kim I was just showing your info I told them they're in the LA area they have to come here because she did magic and that's my goodie bag I'm so excited <laughs> Corner. I just got to a lunch event. Ooh, this is bright. Very, very bright. Okay. Um, I just got to a lunch event for Rodin and Field. Um, the same company, well, like the sister company to Proactive. I think this is the line for more adult facial issues. So adult acne. Oh, that sounded so bad. This is like the worst pitch. 
slightly of a pitch, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm being silly. Let me show you the event because it's at, I believe you say New House, N-E-U-E -E House in um, Hollywood. And it's like, the setup's beautiful, so I'm gonna show you guys everything. They're doing hand massages over there. This is a lunch setup. We're upstairs. Like, this isn't the roof of the building, but it's like an upstairs outside area. And then, yeah, it's just so gorgeous here. There's gonna be a meditation area over here. <laughs> So cute. I'm so lost and my hair looks crazy. Found the elevator. Okay, I was about to say it's the last day of September, but it's actually the second day of October and it is fully, fully fall. I just got to Bath and Body Works in Santa Monica. Okay, so I just got, I just parked in the parking lot of the Santa Monica Mall where I think Bath and Body Works is located. And basically, I'm just getting my fall candles. So yes, I should be starting my October vlog, but I realized I never ended my September vlog. So instead of just getting on camera and saying bye, I figured I would take you along with me um, to buy my candles. Sorry, I got distracted because I had to figure out where I'm going. And I still don't know where I'm going, but we'll figure it out. Um, but basically, instead of just getting on camera and being like, okay, end of vlog, I figured I would take you with, with me to the mall. I'm literally just here, just for my candles. And we're gonna buy my fall scented candles, and then I'm gonna end the vlog. So come shopping with me, and then we will end this vlog and start the next one. Got the Starbucks. It's such a pretty day out. Candle time! So every season, every fall I come, I stuck up and enough candles to last me one to two falls. So oh, I wish you guys can smell how good it smells in here. Okay, I know this is a really weird setup, but I keep forgetting how dark it gets, like how early it gets dark now. Ugh. Um, and it's not even daylight savings time yet. That's not for like a month, which means it, oh, I can't. As much as I love fall and winter, I do not like when it gets dark at like 4 35 o'clock. It makes me very unproductive. Anyways, um, I just got home and it got hectic in there with all the candles in my arms, so I couldn't vlog. But I did want to show you the candles that I picked out. So I got four. Two of them are repeats, two of them are new. So one of the new ones I got is the famous leaves candle from Bath and Body Works. Everyone talks about how this candle is one of their favorites. It's so great, blah, blah. To be honest, I smelled it in the store and I didn't love it. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. But it was one of the last candles I smelled, so I'm not sure if like all the scents were just getting to my head. And I'm not sure if it's gonna smell better as it's lit. But I felt like because so many people love this candle, I just had to buy it and give it a try. So I'm gonna give it a try, I guess, if you wanna know. Yeah, I actually don't like it. Oh my god, I'm really hoping that it smells better when it's lit because that is pungent. <coughs> Okay, sorry, that was very dramatic. Okay, one of my favorite candles, this is one of my repeat candles, is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I just wanna take a bath in this, it's so delicious. Anyways, that is one of my favorite fall candles in general. I normally get two of those. I only got one because the one that's finishing up is one of these, so I still have enough in that candle to get me through the next couple of weeks. And then I figured with just four candles in general, I have more than enough. 
The next candle I got is salted butterscotch. It literally smells like butterscotch candy. Oh my god, it's so good. So that's obviously a repeat. And then my very last candle. By the way, um, I also didn't know this until today, but I found out when I was in the store. If you download the um, My Bath and Body Works app, this isn't sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know because I saved ten dollars today. Um, that they have like rewards and specials through their app that you can use in store or online. So I I signed up today, and as like a sign up gift, they gave me ten dollars off of thirty. So I got that, and then you also get a point for every dollar you spent in the store and that creates other rewards or other like savings. So just thought I should share that because I didn't know that and it was nice for the person who told me because I ended up saving $10. And then the last one I got, which is also a new one for me, is the hot cocoa and cream. I just opened this, I haven't even smelled it and it smells like I'm holding a hot chocolate in my hands. Oh, it smells, it literally smells like I'm holding hot, like a Starbucks hot cocoa. So yeah, this is, Bath and Body Works makes my favorite festive candles. So I like to get my um, fall and holiday candles from Bath and Body Works. And then my other favorite brand for candles would be Voluspa. I think, believe that's how you say it. They make my like favorite just year round candles. Do I have one out now? No, I don't. Oh, and then another brand of candles that I love is actually Fresh. Um, so. I have these out right now because they were the closest things I had to fall other than my other um, pumpkin one that's finishing up. But anyways, yeah, I know it's October, but this is the end of my September vlog. It's funny because we started at the very end of August and now we're ending in the very beginning of October. But I had a really crazy September, like personally, like with just a bunch of personal stuff going on. So I didn't vlog too much. I think I just vlogged like at the two, three events and then this Bath and Body Works haul. Um, but yeah, my goal is, now that I'm actually putting up consistent videos, yay me, um, my goal is to become more consistent with vlogging. Um, but I'm still, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick to monthly vlogs. And unless you guys wanna see like normal day-to-day -day stuff, which I never feel like you do, because I don't normally watch those vlogs, but I could be totally wrong. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you just like seeing the highlights of the month, which basically means like events that I'm going to, or if you also want to see like the day-to-day -day things of me going shopping or me going to meetings or me doing admin work or, you know, organizing the apartment, like whatever it might be, um, hanging with friends. So yeah, let me know in the comments below because that would really help. As always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed, make sure to ring that bell. That's something I don't think I've ever said before, but apparently a lot of people aren't um, getting notified when I upload. So yeah, ring the bell, subscribe, and like this video. And I will see you guys in my next video and also in the next October vlog. Bye.